are. Can you tell me what am I looking at here? Well, you're looking at my own personal favorite tequila, and not just because it's Clooney's, but it's the best tasting. This is the Casamigos Blanco, which is what I have all the time because it's like liquid crack for me. Cheers. To the house of friends. To the house of friends. Let's do it. Whew. Doesn't that feel good? Amy Sacco, a.k.a. Soon Amy. Don't panic, it's organic. The doyen of the dark. We love nightlife, and nightlife loves us, but it's not real life, it's nightlife. Um, hotels, bars, nightclubs, restaurants, airlines, anything to do with hospitality is what we do. Bungalow Aid is a, a creation based on a grand artwork I saw by Jeremy Blake. Um, it's about the Pink Palace Beverly Hills Hotel Revisited, which is a great book that was there at the show, and it's about being in a bungalow instead of you know a suite or a hotel. You're known for attracting a celebrity crowd. I always felt that we go the extra mile for our everyone. Uh, celebrities are amazing. Moguls, raconteurs, uh, rogues, models, skateboarders, scientists, everyone. Authors. We love this uh, really eclectic tapestry of people. Uh, the great social mixologists, maybe, we can say. And I think it's about your energy, is about how you get in. It doesn't matter how much money you have or how pretty you are. You've managed to attract a crowd that so many folks would be desperate to have in their venues. And to you, it seems like business every day. It's a bespoke service that we've done, and we've done it before the concierges came in. So if you see my beautiful Gucci bag or somebody's gorgeous, you know, YSL shoes, you're like, oh my God, where'd you get that? I said, would you like us to get them for you now? But our famous service was the um, hall pass service. Okay. For those who were out a little later than they should be, and had someone at home a little panicked and waiting. So the flowers would get there before they arrived with a, sorry I'm late, be right there, I'm with Amy, oops. <laughs> so, you know, when we were talking before, you mentioned adventure capitalism. Oh. You want to talk about this a little? For me, adventure capital and fundraising is my little quotation mark on what I do. And basically, a fixer and a connector. So. Anytime someone calls me and says, oh, you know, I've got this great idea, and then I go, ah, I've got something for that or someone for that. So I kind of put all of my clients together, having known them intimately as friends, clients, you know, personalities, what they like and what they don't like. It's easy to know if someone would say yes or no, but I would never approach anyone if I didn't vet it myself. It would be inappropriate not to toast it, so here's to the house of friends. Here's to the house of friends. And the new amigos. And the new amigos. And the house amigos. Here we go. Bottoms up. Ah, oh, that's fine. Having drinks with Amy Sacco in 360. Thank you for joining us.